Over the years, great men and women of faith have provided to millions of people around the world great songs and hymns of faith, which have been a pillar of strength and a hand of comfort. In good times and in bad, the words of these great statements of faith have given hope, courage, and direction along the often difficult road of life. Today on The Joy of Music, we hear many of these great hymns from stately hymns of the Christian faith to old and beloved gospel songs. Along with the music, we experience many of the beautiful scenes of creation from around the world that God has provided for us in our Joy of Music journeys. Thank you for joining us. In England, the Wesleys and George Whitfield were conducting similar revivals and outdoor campaigns. One of the lives touched during this time was William Williams. Prior to this time, Williams had been preparing for the medical profession, but upon hearing the Word of God, young Williams gave his heart and life to Christ.
Onward Christian Soldiers was written by the Englishman Sabine Barry Gould in 1865. This popular hymn was built on 2 Chronicles 2017. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. We played Onward Christian Soldiers in the Rain Memorial Methodist Church of New Orleans, Louisiana. Built on the text from Psalm 145.10, All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord. We share in the congregational hymn of praise with words written by St. Francis of Assisi in the 13th century and music from the Geislich Kirchengesang. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Reginald Haver was an English vicar who lived in 1800s. Wanting to celebrate a triune God, Haver wrote, Holy, 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 for Trinity Sunday. The words of the hymn are in consistent units of three, reflecting the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and is built on Revelation 4, 8. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. The history of the hymn, Ferris Lord Jesus, is not certain, but the followers of John Huss were one of the first groups to sing this hymn. The Hussites were expelled from Bohemia, Silesia, now part of Poland, in 1620. They were strong believers in hymn singing. They were persecuted for their faith, and John Huss became a martyr. But they could still sing praises like Paul and Silas did, when they were imprisoned. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, O thou of God and man the Son, thee will I cherish, thee will I honor, thou my soul's glory, joy, and crown.
From the Cathedral of Le Havre, France, in Normandy, we hear the majestic hymn of faith, God of Our Fathers, featuring the horizontal trumpets of the organ. From Normandy to Scotland, we hear the choir of St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh in the singing of The Lord is My Shepherd.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you some of the most beloved hymns of the Christian faith, played on historic organs from great churches and cathedrals around the world. We look forward to seeing you next time on The Joy of Music, and thank you for joining us.